Good morning, my beautiful ladies and ladies. Today is the 28th of May 2020, and well, we are finally in the fourth stage of lockdown, which is lockdown 4.0. If you ask me what am I doing with this attire, ready to go out, let that go. If you are asking me whether I am going out once again, the answer is pretty darn simple. Yes, I am going out and today I am not going to the pharmacy but I am heading towards a bank. Bank, you might ask me why. So most of you folks might have already known that I stay in Kolkata and Currently, I am here because of this pandemic and I'm only home during my vacations. And the house that I stay in Kolkata, that is definitely not mine. It's a rented apartment. And since the past two months, I haven't paid the rent and neither the landlord has told me anything. But yesterday, I received a call from him saying he is in dire need of cash. Around two months back, we had this conversation, me and my landlord basically. We had this conversation that I could give my rent after I come back to Kolkata and once everything gets settled for good. But then realizing that it's not gonna happen anytime soon, yesterday he called me up and he was basically requesting me whether I could give him the rent for a couple of months or not. Because the last time I paid my rent, that was on March and April and May. May, by the 10th I was supposed to pay the rent but here it is 28th of May and I haven't paid him since. <music> Bad habit. So give happy his energy drink now. Let's go towards the town. Lockdown 4.0 for starting as the boy aggressor. Oh. My happy is very hot right now. Number of people before me. Excuse me. Excuse me. So deposited cash in the State Bank of India. Now I need to head towards ICICI Bank to receive. Uh huh. Kena. Yeah. 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 I have to deposit cash 
for my happy is EMI was due. His EMI is due tomorrow, so today I have to get it done. Anyhow. And in the ICICI bank account, what I need to do is I need to deposit cash for my landlord. That is my house rent. Okay. So lives are slowly getting back to normal, but I really hope that this that this doesn't bring more chaos. I just hope and pray that it doesn't. Done with depositing the cash. I kind of left one work undone. So for that, I need to keep my happy in the parking lot once again. Wow. was left which was to get some kind of fertilizer for the plants but since it's 12 o'clock they decided to shut down the store as soon as I reached the place but then after requesting them they kind of opened it once again but to my astonishment the fertilizer wasn't there they are telling that it's gonna come tomorrow let's see let's hope for the best as you can see clearly it's raining really heavily right now and now I'm getting a bit late to home as well but before going home, what I need to do is I need to check the air pressure on my happy as well. So yeah, that's about it. Your motor jockey Susanian Priyam reporting live from Kalimpong town during the lockdown stage. Hope it works. Thank you. Look, my happy is completely wet. struggles of riding a 200 plus kg machine oh. so without any further ado let's head back home I'm not even sure whether the air pressure guy will be there or not, the tire repairing shop. Because the last time I asked the same in the petrol pump, the machine that inflates the tire, that is the air machine, do you call that an air machine? I don't know where. But you got what I wanted to tell, right? That thing was damaged, it wasn't working. So petrol pump is out of question, so I need to pay extra 10 rupees for a couple of tires of my happy. So by the looks of it, it seems I need to come back to Kalimbong town tomorrow once again. Oh. 
or if I don't come, then it's gonna be my dad who's gonna be coming to the town to get that fertilizer. Now my bike looks so extremely dirty. So both of my happy tires are only 20 psi of air. That is the reason why I was having so much of trouble while riding him. Now the bike is feeling so damn smooth. Actually it was because of the lockdown I wasn't get, getting time to check on my happy. So because of that small minor things you know. Which needed, which need to be taken care of at a very regular basis. Those things were getting skipped. When I was going towards the town my shoes were so damn clean and look at the condition of my shoes right now this is what happens when it rains and especially my happy is literally very dirty so what i need to do is once the rain settles down i need to give him a quick shower and then wax him up and then my happy will be as fresh as new so yeah this was all about this was entirely about my day to day i hope you folks enjoyed whatever i could show you it's actually, I can't even say that you folks enjoyed because if I were a viewer of mine, probably I wouldn't have enjoyed it so much. I have given such good vlogs before, the lifestyle vlogs, the travel vlogs, travel vlogs, wow. When will I get to do that again? I really wonder. Because shooting a travel vlog is so much fun, you know. It's fun to shoot, it's fun to edit. And as a viewer, what I personally feel by watching others travel vlogs is it's equally fun as a viewer to watch as well but lifestyle vlogs like these where I'm not doing anything I'm just riding my camera is mounted on my motorcycle that's it I feel but this has a different kind of audience I guess so let just keep all the travel the lifestyle the motor vlogs aside and let me just end it right here, right now, okay? Because I don't want to bore any of you anymore. So thank you so much for making me a part of your day. Until next time, this is Priyam Gurung and I will see you very, 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 very soon. Till then, take care, bye-bye and cheers to life. Thank you so much. And yes, two vlogs a week. Where I stay in Kolkata, that's not my apartment, right? I have obviously rented... And the 